Hello there, this is uh, Rick Navarro with ACS Security. Today I am going to talk about the Alarm.com thermostat. I'm going to show you some settings and some rules that you can use with the Alarm.com website and app. Um, I just got mine installed this past weekend and I love it already. One of the first things I love is, is how it looks. It has a nice sleek look with this digital display here. Um, so it's a real nice uh, looking device to begin with and um, it adds a lot of value, some energy savings and um, yeah some more fun stuff so let me show you here. Um, we can start off with uh, logging into our alarm.com uh, portal here and again we can do this either via the app on our smartphone or just right from a computer. Um, your dashboard will now display the um, thermostat here and the information. It is displaying that I have a schedule on which uh, is this little little clock icon right here. It has uh, my current uh, set point, what I have the temperature set at, and the uh, current temperature of the house, uh, as well as the humidity inside. Um, you can control it directly here from the dashboard. If you click on this little arrow right here, I believe it, let's see what it does. I think it takes us to a... to a thermostat page, okay, where you have this the same uh, kind of dashboard set up here, but you can have notifications, reports, rules, schedule, and some advanced features. Um, as far as the advanced features, let me see if I messed around with this at all. Um, let's go ahead and take a look here. Uh, thermostat lock. You can, I have this disabled. You can enable or do it partially. So essentially this will uh, allow you to lock your thermostat if you have kids where you don't want them to be, or employees if you're using this at a business. If you want, don't want them to be uh, changing the temperature, um, you would go ahead and uh, you know enable that. A partial, I believe it gives you a range of how many degrees uh, so I have mine disabled. Um, swing. By the way, these little question marks will allow you to um, get information. So for example, it says swing here. If you just hover over that, it says the number of degrees above during cooling or below during heating. The target set point, uh, the system will allow the temperature to fluctuate before cycling back on. So this is 0.5 degrees, so for example, if I have my thermostat set at, say, 70 degrees uh, in air conditioning mode, if it gets to 70.5, um, it'll go ahead and kick on to maintain that temperature. It has my display on or off. You can have that digital display that you see here, either on or off. Um, overshoot, uh, that would be if the system is trying to cool the house and you have it set and your desired temperature of say 70 degrees, um, at zero it'll stop, the air conditioning will stop once it hits 70 degrees. If you want to overshoot by one degree or two degree, um, It'll overshoot that, meaning the air conditioning will run until it gets to 69 if you have it at one degree, and then go ahead and shut off. Um, heat set point, cool set point is the maximum and minimum. Um, so those are the uh, advanced uh, rules. Schedules are pretty simple and self-explanatory. It's easy to operate and easy to use. You can use a five and two day schedule view or a seven day schedule view. 
Uh, a seven day schedule view uh, allows you to program schedules for each and every day. A five and two breaks it into weekday and weekend. So if you want the week, the whole weekend set a certain way and the whole weekday set a certain way, it's easier to use a five and two day view. If you want different schedules for different days, you can um, you can use the seven day view. I have a pretty consistent schedule. This basically just says on the weekends it's going to keep my temperature at 72 from 8 a.m. till uh, let's see, till right about um, six or seven, and then um, it'll kick down to 71 degrees. And then uh, I believe at 10 o'clock it goes down to 69 while I sleep till about 6 a.m. and between 6 and 8, 6 a.m. and 8 a.m. it goes to 70. And you can adjust these by simply clicking these little boxes. Now they have a set uh, temperature for home, sleep, away. Um, or you can use custom. So when I click on one of these time slots, you can choose home, away, sleep, or custom. If you click custom, you can change the temperature to whatever you want. These simply slide back and forth to change the time in which you want these settings to take place. and that's how that works um, and you can either have four settings per day so those are one two three four so you have your sleep uh, and you can do four different custom settings you can do a combination these are four different settings or you can do two settings per day uh, so you would only be able to choose two different temperatures per day and this is four different temperatures per day um, the smart away feature, I like to click on. Smart away feature just means when you arm your system in away mode, meaning you're leaving the house, it'll set it at a away temperature, which our away temperature is 78 degrees. So as soon as I set my alarm, all this schedule is null and void. It'll go to my away mode. When I come back home and disarm the system, my schedule will automatically resume. That's kind of how you operate the schedule. Um, I'm going to show you my favorite rule, and I think it, might, it may be one of the only rules I set besides the Smart Away feature is sensor left open. So I have a dog that we like to open the slider have the screen closed, but let the dog go out and just kind of hang out a little bit and sunbathe and just chill. Well, if I have my air on, um, I can set this rule up and the way I have it set up is when the sliding door or living room window are open for 10 minutes, um, my thermostat will trim the temperature by three. What that means, uh, by three degrees, what that means is if I have my temperature set at 71, if it senses that my living room window or my slider door is open for 10 minutes, it'll change that air conditioning temperature set point to three degrees above that original 71 where it was set. So it would change it to 74 degrees. That way my AC won't kick on when the temperature changes by just one degree, therefore having me waste the AC and waste electricity. So this will change it by uh, three. And you can change these uh, timings and um, these settings to reflect whatever you want to do. So any of these sensors, you can click whichever sensor you want this to correspond with and how long you want uh, 
you want to wait before you have your thermostat do everything, whether it's one minute, two minutes, five minutes, ten minutes, you know, all the way up to the uh, to an hour. And you can change how many degrees um, as well. And you can receive uh, notification on your phone uh, as well uh, when that happens. So I do get a text message when it says uh, my slider has been left open and we are adjusting a thermostat. So that's what happens here um, with that rule. That's really the only rule I've played with. I'm sure there's a, little, a few others. Um, this came as a default. Uh, this first one, the fire safety one, came as a default. It seems like when there's a fire reported from my panel, it'll turn off the thermostat at the house. Um, so, and I, I, it looks like I did set up some type of humidity uh, control rule. Um, more so to play around with to see how and when that uh, that works. Um, once I learn more, I will make more videos. There will be more to come. But thank you for checking this out. Um, let me see if there's anything else. Uh, reports. Uh, I haven't gotten a chance to check out reports, but they will have monthly heating and cooling reports. Um, you can get notifications actually uh, if someone. Uh, changes the thermostat so if you're at, if you're doing this for your business um, you can add a new notification and uh, be notified of temperature if someone changes uh, the thermostat settings um, all that fun stuff but yeah um, as I learn more I will teach you guys more thank you for listening this is Rick with ACS security as always you can contact me at 818 807-5853 and um, we'll talk soon. Everybody stay safe.